for the communities that live near factory farms and that work in our food system. Mm -hmm. To start with the communities, you know, the conditions that folks who live near CAFOs describe is just unbelievable. Things like not being able to go outside your own house because the stench is so horrible, not being able to hang your clothes out to dry, having to go buy a dryer because if you hung your clothes out to dry, they would smell just unbearable. Mm. Things like not being able to drink your own water in your own home um, or from your own well uh, because of the contamination not being able to use, you know, your, your waterways and getting, um, you know, conditions like asthma and cancer and other conditions that are showing up at much higher rates in communities that are living near factory farms where animals are being raised for food. So if you care about environmental justice, if you care about, you know, making sure that everybody has the right to a livable, you know, bearable life, then factory farms don't have a place in that. And similarly for, you know, workers, the the workers at slaughterhouses, which are necessary for this industry, we have to have slaughterhouses, we have to have slaughterhouse workers. Those are some of the most dangerous jobs in the country um, with some of the highest rates of injury. And those jobs are disproportionately held by folks of color as well, and especially um, um, immigrants and migrants who, you know, sometimes have fewer fewer rights um, than naturalized citizens of the U.S. do, making them even more vulnerable to the abuses of these companies to workers. So I think you can pick your social justice issue. So if you care about public health, if you care about racial justice, environmental justice, if you care about climate change, I think all roads lead to having to address this issue.